Hi everyone, I'm Derek Wilkinson. I lead the employee user experience team at United Airlines where we design products that support our airline operations. I'm Jessica DeYoung. I'm the managing director of design at One North. We are a full service digital agency. We are also a certified Figma signature service partner. And today I'm gonna talk to you about how our teams work together to migrate the Orion design system into Figma. So One North consults with a lot of large global organizations during a migration like this, and I always get the same common questions at the beginning. Some of you in the audience, if you're embarking on a Figma migration, may have these as well. I hear things like, how long will the migration take? How should we train our designers? How should we bring our developers along? When's the best time to make a move like this? How should we sunset legacy tools like Zeppelin or Sketch or XD? And then what about legacy application support? How about ge be general best practices around internal comms during the, the migration? Or some variation of how does everyone else do blank? Everyone's curious how other orgs do that, and as an agency, we sort of get an inside look at that. And so what has occurred to me in all these conversations is that everybody's curious about what other organizations are doing in a migration like this, and everybody struggles a little bit with imagining all the moving parts and pieces for something like this. So today, to start our talk, I wanna introduce a metaphor that I hope is helpful to you in how you think about a migration, and it might also be helpful when you're talking with stakeholders that aren't quite as involved um, in a digital effort like this. So, I want you to imagine for a second, we're not moving something digital. I want you to imagine a physical move. Imagine your company is moving from one office to another. Imagine that you're packing up boxes at everyone's desks, you're putting in keyboards and monitors, pens, pencils. That's sort of the core part of the move. But then there's a lot of tangential related pieces you have to think about. Once you get to the new office, you have to figure out the Wi-Fi. You have to figure out where you're gonna go get lunch every day, where the new bathrooms are. There's a lot of moving pieces. And I think for a physical office move like that, maybe you've gone through that, it's easier to imagine. I think this is an apt metaphor because Figma is all of our virtual offices. That's where we spend all of our time day in and day out. And so I wanna tell you a quick story before I hand things off to Derek. A um, Couple years ago, One North actually had a client who was moving offices. They were moving to this skyscraper right in the middle um, is being built in downtown Chicago, where both of our headquarters are. And the client came to us and they said, we're noticing a lot of apprehension from our employees. People are worried about this move. And so they enlisted our help to design and build them a website that communicated all the cool new features that these employees would get to take advantage of. Um, and so it was things like, you know, we're gonna have a lot more space so we can grow into all these new desks that we're gonna have. Everything was state of the art, all the technology in there. They even had AI for their elevators so that during the lunch rush, you weren't waiting extra long for the elevator. All this cool stuff. So when we started the project, we started with research as we normally do, and we went and talked with those employees. And it was really illuminating, as research often is, because while all these new office features would be a benefit to those employees once they moved in, that's not what those employees were thinking about right now. They were worried about other things. Other things were keeping them up at night. And so in these conversations, in these interviews, two themes emerged. The first question that came up more than any other question, will the building tip over when I'm in it? <laughs> You can see here, it has this really, it's sort of an engineering marble. It tapers down at the bottom, this long steel core. Um, and people were really worried about that. And then the second question, where's the closest Starbucks? So you have really, really big existential uh, questions keeping people up at night and then really, really small details. And so what we learned from this, these conversations were that all those cool new features they would benefit the employees once they were in the office, but that's not what they were concerned about right now. They were worried about what their new daily schedule was gonna be, um, you know, where their train stop was, where, the, where they were gonna get coffee in the morning. 
And so we added content to the site. We talked to the engineers and the architects, reassured everyone about the structural integrity of the building. We put an interactive map where people could find the closest Starbucks. So we were able to solve for all that. The website launched, the client moved, it was all a success. And so then to wrap up this project, the One North team went to visit the new office. And I was asking everybody, what is your favorite part about this, your new office? Can anyone guess what their favorite feature was from that list that I showed you? Well, that's a trick question because their favorite feature wasn't on that list. It was this chocolate milk machine that was in the common kitchen area. Everybody was talking about it. Have you had the chocolate milk yet? I did, it was awesome. It like took you right back to middle school. And, but it was another sort of aha moment for us that these are the little details that people can really rally around and they matter. I think in, the key, in Dylan's keynote this morning, some of the smallest updates got the biggest applause. And so thinking about these little details that delight, when I fly on United Airlines, I am disproportionately excited when the snack cart comes around. And so for all of you brave enough to sit in our premium cabin today, we have brought some snacks uh, that you might enjoy on, on your flight with United. So to bring this back to what we're here to talk about, when One North consults with clients, we advise them a large migration to Figma, it has three dimensions. It's a technical, operational, but also a human endeavor. And you have to consider things both big and small in order to ensure a successful adoption of that tool. And so I'm gonna hand things over to Derek now and we're gonna talk about three main things. First, Derek is gonna set the, the stage for the scale of what his team does at United. It's a, it's a very, very large organization. Then he's gonna talk about their move to Figma at a high level, it took about two years, so we only have 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna wrap it up with some lessons learned. Take it away, Derek. All right, thanks, Jessica. <laughs> United is incredibly committed to delivering a good experience for our customers. United also understands the role our employees have in delivering that experience for our customers. To that end, we have two design systems, Atmos for our consumer-facing products and Orion for our internal-facing products. Many of you are probably aware of our award-winning mobile app. You may have used it when you traveled here. We have a very talented team that is constantly adding new features and improvements to our mobile app to make the customer journey a better experience. This commitment to a great experience extends to our many employees and operations as well. As a result, we have a dedicated UX team focused exclusively on designing custom applications for our employees. The recent growth at United and our investment in technology for its workforce has driven growth for our team as well. We support over 100 products uh, in operations, and we have over 70 designers actively working in Figma today. United recently hit a milestone of employing over 100,000 people across several different operational groups. It takes a lot of people and a lot of technology to run an airline. United has an aggressive growth plan called United Next, and recently we have over 200 new aircraft in service and have hired over 30,000 employees uh, the past couple of years. A couple of years ago, we reached an inflection point knowing the high demand that was headed our way. And it begged the question, how do we scale our team to support all this growth? We knew that our existing setup was not going to scale to support demand for, future work, for all the future work coming our way. So our move to Figma was a strategic move that resulted in us consolidating uh, from three tools for design, prototyping, and UI specs to one. In addition to migrating all our work from Sketch to Figma, we also had to complete our work in the next major release of Orion, our design system, and also include the uh, United brand refresh in those updates. We had to do all of that while continuing to deliver ongoing UX work in our current port portfolio. 
and avoid any disruptions to employee-facing applications and subsequently overall airline operations at United. Given our challenges with all this parallel work, we had to be very thoughtful and very strategic with how we went about our migration to Figma. <clears throat> I know Jessica said two years, but it was really 16 yeah, months. Uh, overall, this timeline looks like 16 months, but I'll break it down a bit to highlight the key milestones. <clears throat> I think the most important decision for us was really building out our Orion library in Figma before allowing the team to start using Figma for project work. This minimized rework later and ensured that all our project output was consistent, just as it was with our previous design tool. This work took about four months. All right. Once we completed the library, we invited the team to start uh, using Figma for all new project work at the beginning of 2023. And by October of 2023, we completed work on the rebrand and also released Orion 2.0. And to date, we have 47 projects either started in or migrated to Figma. We still have some legacy apps that are in Sketch, um, but we don't have any current plans to migrate some of them because we're, we're not really investing in them or making updates. But we do, we do keep Sketch, a Sketch license should we need to make minor uh, incremental updates to those apps. We wanted to show some examples of our design system elements uh, from Orion for reference and how they look applied to real operational applications for United. Most of the brand updates were subtle, but our Figma library and the modes feature really gave us flexibility in how we rolled out these changes to our users and applications letting them switch themes uh, when the time was right for them. Uh, for comp by comparison, uh, the, the, up, the brand updates to the mobile app and united.com all had to happen at once. <clears throat> our upfront investment in our design system and building out the library in Figma has, has really been a force multiplier for our team and allowed us to scale and continuing to deliver high quality design work. As I mentioned, we have 47 projects in Figma since the beginning of 2023, and that, that would not be possible without that early upfront investment. To reiterate, I wanted to state that at United, we strongly believe that a good employee experience enables a good customer experience. Thank you, Thank you Derek. <laughs> and so, a lot of organizations say that, but I think it's another to invest in your team that delivers that. And I wanted to bring you just a piece of anecdotal evidence. A uh, couple weeks ago, Derek and I logged on to LinkedIn and there are all these notifications because somebody had posted about their experience as a customer with United. Jeremy does not work for United. He does not work for One North. He was okay with me sharing his post uh, in this forum today. Um, it, it went viral, I don't, there were 10,000 likes, um, but I wanna highlight the relevant part. Jeremy said, okay, I don't know who is in charge of UX design at United Airlines, but you need to slow down, you're making the rest of us look bad. <laughs> Full on UX service ecosystem, and it feels like it popped up overnight, though I realize this is the culmination of years of hard work. And I think this is evidence that the customer experience benefited from Derek and his team's foresight years ago knowing that they needed to make this move to Figma because United was buying 200 new aircraft and his team needed to scale to support that. And so I share this as evidence that it works, but also I share this because many of you in the audience, you may need to make the case for that investment to your stakeholders. And I hear people focus on like, yes, Figma is much better for the designer experience. Yes, we could probably get you some stats around improved efficiency for the design to dev workflow. But I think it goes beyond that. And this is proof of that. I think you need to tie the investment to Figma and your design system to much bigger business goals. Um, things like scale, customer experience, employee experience. <clears throat> so we're gonna wrap up with just a few lessons learned and final thoughts. 
We wanted to share our key recommendations if you're planning your own migration. We know every company is different, but we believe these lessons are relevant for all. One, dedicate resources to the migration and consider leveraging outside help to help you with guidance and bandwidth. Two, make a detailed Figma tra transition plan. Uh, have a plan for sunsetting your legacy tools. And then three, rebuild components within Figma all at once. Do it the right way the first time rather than piecemeal. Number four, communicate early, regularly, and often. When Derek and I were talking about why their migration was so successful, he was like, well, we did all these things like lunch and learns, showcases, demos. They were regularly giving people information when they needed it. And number five, start now. Don't wait for the perfect time. We shared earlier, the United team did this during a rebrand, during the launch of Orion 2.0, all while keeping 100 products and a major airline moving. So if they can do it, you can do it too. And the longer you wait, the more design debt you're going to accrue. So I wanna bring this full circle back to the story I told at the beginning. Think about those two pressing questions. Will the building tip over? Where's the closest Starbucks? Um, there's a real human element in there. And I, I see organizations focus on tactics and new features. And sometimes, inevitably, adoption can stall a bit. And the Figma adoption is way more than just the core product. And so in this physical office move example, these two questions were about more than just the four walls of the new office. This was about the broader ecosystem. This was about the train stop nearby. This was about the building. And so as you think about a Figma adoption, of course, Focus on the core design tool, but then think about things like Fig Jam, Dev Mode, and also the processes, the people, and their needs and their daily routines. One of the most fun parts about partnering with Derek's team actually had nothing to do with Figma, but we're gonna share it today anyways. We were brainstorming out about ways to create sort of internal excitement and enthusiasm around the migration, the rebrand, the release of Orion 2.0, and we said, why don't we brand the, the, the design system? So we created an identity really quickly. We made all this swag. Derek and I are sporting some of it today. <laughs> um, and the team loved it. Every time we go to visit Derek at his office, they're wearing hoodies. Um, and you just see this sort of rally around the design system. And so for them, like that's their chocolate milk. That's the little thing that they're all getting really excited about. And so to close, a couple uh, final pieces of advice, you know, adoption won't be automatic. Their, their adoption was successful because they were really intentional about every step of the way. So make sure you have a plan for comms, internal enablement, and training. As much as we love Figma, tooling won't solve your communi communication issues. So have a plan to update processes, documentation, things like that. And finally, to reiterate, migrating to Figma is a technical, operational, and human endeavor. And Derek and I didn't do this all together. So speaking of the humans that made this possible, we want to thank the United and the One North team that are all sporting their Orion gear today. Give them a round of applause. And thank you all for coming. Have a great rest of the conference.